What up HyperChange? I promise today is the last day I'm putting out Tesla episodes for a while. I know I've been on a kick lately, but let's do it because I think this is one of the best ones yet. I wanted to show you guys Tesla's gross margin relative to other automakers because this is a fascinating area of the business model and one of the key pillars of my investment thesis behind the company either having the lowest battery costs in the entire industry or the most advanced manufacturing in the entire industry or a combination of both of those trends. And today I'm gonna to use Tesla's gross margin numbers and a couple other tidbits from articles I found to try and convince you why this is the case. I went through the 2016 filings of the public automakers that Tesla competes with. Some of them are foreign, so it's tricky to break out you know, their leasing business from their auto sales, but I did the best I could. And here is what we're looking at. Tesla has the highest gross margin that I could find of any of these companies other than Ferrari, which sells ultra premium, super expensive, multi-million dollar cars. But as you can see, despite Tesla growing manufacturing at a breakneck pace, despite them being one of the newest companies in this space, they have the leading highest gross margin out of any of the car companies that I could find other than Ferrari. Tesla's higher than you know, established luxury car makers like Mercedes, BMW, people tout these as the most advanced car companies in the entire world, yet they're making cars less profitably than Tesla, and Tesla's only been doing it for five years. The entire way of manufacturing cars is changing, going from people building it to robots, and that is the biggest reason why Tesla's robot-first approach is allowing them to have the industry-leading gross margins. On top of that, Tesla's strategy to vertically integrate with batteries and build their own gigafactory was marked as just insane ludicrous just a couple years ago nobody thought electric cars are gonna be a thing now not only are electric cars a thing but they're inevitable every car maker is scrambling to invest billions of dollars to keep up with Tesla and Tesla has a multi-year lead a multi-billion dollar investment already starting to pay off with the gigafactory producing battery pack and this is another reason why their gross margins are so much higher think about it GM Ford all of these Audi, all of these companies who want to start building electric cars in mass are going to have to find somebody to buy batteries from. LG is the supplier to GM, for example. LG needs to make their profit margin. I would argue they're not doing as technologically advanced stuff as Tesla either. So you just have too many layers. Taking a step back, all these gross margins that you're seeing right here, Tesla's the only one who's selling electric cars. Every other one of these gross margins, 99% of their revenue or 95, whatever, is from the internal combustion engine. So you're seeing the margins from the internal combustion engine car. What's gonna happen when these guys start selling electric cars in mass? Their margins are gonna go down. Mercedes is making a big push into electric vehicles with the launch of their EQ brand, a totally new subdivision of the company. But management is guided. In the beginning of the cycle, we believe that we will have to face a significantly lower margin for some vehicles, half of the margin of the vehicles they replace. Mercedes, which has the closest margin to Tesla other than Ferrari, 21%, is telling you that when they build electric cars, they're only gonna see about a 10 to 11% profit margin. Tesla's margins are going up higher than everybody in the industry while everybody else in the industry is gonna be going down. Fiat, look at this. Early October, the CEO of Fiat said they are losing as much as $20,000 on every single Fiat E. This is the electric car. And these are just the tidbits of managements that I could find. I looked, it's really hard to figure out what GM is doing on the margin for the Bolt, but this former chairman of GM, Bob Lutz, who is a Tesla skeptic, he's kind of a skeptic of everything, but he was credited as being the father of the Volt program. And he even says, there's no way that that car can be profitable because the battery pack costs are simply too high. We have even more evidence of that, which is Electric, said that they had been finding through talking to people, the average loss of a Bolt was about $10,000. Now Detroit News confirmed that story, and this was all in late 2016, with the average base price of the Bolt being about $38,000, they're losing eight to 9000 per car. Uh, Mercedes is saying their margins are gonna get a huge hit, but they'll still make money, but the Fiat E, the Volt, these electric cars that are already in production are actually seeing absurdly negative gross margins. So while Tesla is making 24% gross profit on every single car, electric car it sells, GM and Fiat and potentially Mercedes are going to actually be losing money on every electric car they sell. This is a reason why we haven't seen any automakers decide to fully ramp into producing electric cars because they're losing money on every vehicle. If they became a huge part of their sales, their profits are gonna go away in the near term. They're not gonna be able to pay a dividend if that's something they're committed to. Their shareholders are gonna have to wake up to the fact that they're not actually making money anymore because they can't figure out how to produce electric vehicles profitably. The gross margins speak for themselves. And what's even more fascinating is Tesla's actually are getting better. If we look at them through the first half 
half of this year, Tesla's gross margins are 26.6%. Okay, what, what is also fascinating is even though Tesla's gross margins have gone up in 2017, they've been reducing the price of their vehicles because they say they've been improving the production of battery costs. Tesla is lowering the price of its Model X and Model S this year in 2017 because they had efficiency in battery pack costs. The official statement of the uh, company is when we launched the Model X 75D, it had a low gross margin. As we've achieved efficiencies, we we're able to lower the price and pass along more value to our customers. So Tesla is telling you they're continually improving, dropping battery costs, and they're not just talking about it, they're literally lowering the prices on other vehicles while reporting higher gross margins than ever. I would argue this is evidence that they're Vertical integration strategy with batteries is working. Their automated manufacturing process is working. Talk is cheap. And these automakers want to tell you about how many electric cars they're going to build and how much money they're going to make on it, while Tesla's actually reporting significantly higher margins than anyone else on these vehicles. I actually think in the long run that Tesla's gross margin could be above 30%. If we take a look at an option grant from 2012 that was given to Elon Musk, he makes no salary in the company. He owns a huge chunk because he was an original investor. And then he also gets a ton of stock as he completes milestones. These milestones are set by the board of directors based on what they think the company can do. If you'll see right here, the only margin target that the company has is gross margin of 30% per more for four consecutive quarters. This tells me the company thinks they can achieve when they hit scale after the Model 3, when they get fully automated, when the Gigafactory is really rolling, they think they can have gross margins of 30%. Remember, go back to this chart. Even the most world's most luxury automakers are only making 21 to 20% margin, and that is about to crumble as they have to invest in EVs. This employee in incentive package that Musk has looks like Tesla's gonna be able to bring their margin up to 30%. But it's also really important to note that Q3 and Q4 of this year are gonna see really, really low gross margins because they're ramping Model 3 production and they're setting up to build hundreds of thousands of cars. So as they install the equipment for that, they're gonna have massive costs while they're not producing many vehicles. I do not think Tesla's gross margin with the Model 3 is gonna normalize till sometime in mid 2018. So it's really important to keep that in mind. Then this article from May 2017 from Electrek is fascinating. There was a talk with Tom Mueller, who's the CTO of SpaceX, got to be one of Elon's best buddies, who goes on to say, Elon told him the marginal cost to produce is $30,000. So I think they're hiding a lot of expenses of upfront, getting equipment in, that kind of stuff that is lowering the gross margin because they're growing so quickly. And in the long term, we could even see upside of 30% gross margins. Remember, or especially on the Model S and X in these luxury vehicles. Because remember, Tesla is selling the Model S for 75, you know, up to 100, 100 something thousand, depending on what options you get. If the marginal cost here is really 30,000, like you do the math on those, on the potential for those margins. So yeah, to wrap it up, this is fascinating and compelling evidence to make the case that Tesla either has by far the industry's cheapest and most efficient batteries, or they have by far the most efficient and automated manufacturing process, or it's a combination of both. I'm going with this, it's a combo of both. And this is a reason why Tesla is so much more advanced than tech. Their strategy is five years ahead of everybody else. They were choosing to vertically integrate and build batteries because they saw this future when nobody believed in it. And now it's paying huge dividends. Legacy automakers are in this innovator's dilemma where they're even gonna have to invest heavily and cannibalize their own sales with much lower margin vehicles or be faced to simply die off with the with clinging on to the internal combustion engine. I love this trend. Please let me know. Like poke holes in this. I want to I want to know why I'm wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's hyper change. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.